Hello, welcome to lesson 12 of Mastering Java. Uh, here what we're going to do is we're going to start to talk about the concept of the this keyword. Um, it's one of those things, you know, you know, my job in teaching you programming, I think, is number one, to show you what you need to know, uh, and then also show you some things that you probably won't use that much, but that you're almost certainly going to see when you start reading books uh, in programming, because I can only take you so far uh, in this in this format here. Eventually you'll graduate beyond my lessons and you'll go read books and, and enhance your programming skills. And you're going to come across some things that people write in their code and, and, and you'll be like, wow, I never learned that. And so it'll, it'll seem complicated. In fact, it's not complicated. One of them is called the this keyword, T-H-I-S, the this keyword. Um, basically, if you remember, I told you here. So for instance, let's go and look at, um, let's go and look at this uh, method down here, this one right here, fuel needed right so whenever you when we define this method basically it returns a double value and it takes as an argument a time in terms of a double right and then it returns a value which is the fuel burn rate that's gallons per hour multiplied by the time so what you get is gallons back for however many hours you're in the air so for a Cessna to fly 4.2 hours it takes then you just call the method with 4.2 in terms of hours and then when it comes down into this method 4.2 gets multiplied by the fuel burn rate but we've mentioned several times before which fuel burn rate does it get multiplied by well I have two objects defined which one does it get multiplied by well since it was the Cessna object that was uh, calling the method then when it comes down here it uses the fuel burn rate for the Cessna object. It just kind of implicitly implies that when you call a method that's that's associated with an object that whenever you're operating on these member variables you're operating on the variables associated with that object. So it's going to use the fuel burn for the Cessna. And then when we get over here to the Piper when we call this exact same method from the Piper object, when we pass 2.56, then what it's going to do is it's going to take 2.56 hours and multiply by the fuel burn of the Piper aircraft. Again, we said that was implied. Well, it turns out that that's kind of a shorthand way. This is a shorthand way to do it. Another way to say, to, to do it, that you might see in code, is you might see it written as T-H-I-S, this, with a period. All right, so this is an equivalent way of writing this method. So what happens is the time comes in and then it returns this fuel burn rate times time. The this keyword just tells Java exactly, exactly what we've already said, that whenever you come in here, it uses the value of the variable associated with this object, meaning the object that you call it with. So if I'm calling it with the Piper, then it comes down here, and then this, this is telling it, hey, use the value associated with this object, quote unquote this, which means the one that I've actually called it with. So this guy here, this line here with this keyword is exactly functionally the same as this, and uh, without, without that word. In fact, it's, this is basically a shorthand way of writing this right here. So essentially, I could go back up here for fuel capacity for the previous method, and I can put this, fuel capacity and this fuel burn rate. And so what that's doing is whenever I calculate the endurance of the aircraft, it's going to come into this method and what's going to happen is it's going to use the fuel capacity with this object or the object that I call with divided by the fuel burn rate of the current object that I'm calling with. So that this keyword is just there to tell uh, you as you read the code because you know a lot of times you might read this initially if I didn't harp on it so much and you might say, well, which fuel capacity am I using? The this keyword is there to remind you that it's just whichever one you call it with or whichever object it's associated with. So basically they're going to be tagged to the member variables up here. I can also put it into my constructor. See, whenever I have these values, these four values coming into my constructor, so for Cessna, let's say, uh, it's going to come into the P variable, and then the P variable, which is 4, will be assigned to the number of passengers. Well, I know because I've been telling you and harping on it that since I call it with the new keyword associated with Cessna 172, that the passengers is going to be assigned a value for the Cessna object. But I could also make it absolutely clear by putting the this keyword there. I could put the this keyword there, and I could put the this keyword there, and I could put the this keyword there. So basically I'm putting the this keywords in anything in my class that references a member 
object or a member variable. And it just says that whenever I come in and execute on any of these things, I'm using the particular value here associated with that object. So now when I run this guy again, you can see that the code executes exactly the same as it did before. The only difference between previous and now is I've just added the this keyword. So again, it's not something you're going to see very much because it doesn't really add that much to the readability once you get used to seeing it the other way. But it's something that you might see occasionally in Java code. More likely than not, you're probably going to see your methods down here in the class definition look something like this. But if you see that this keyword, just remember that it's just referencing what we've discussed here. It's not complicated. It's not hard. Um, but it is something that even though you probably won't use that much yourself, you probably are going to read it in a book somewhere or see it in some other person's code. And then you'll understand, well, this isn't not a big deal. That's why I wanted to bring it up uh, here for you today.